Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Angel and today I thought I'd take you along as I go thrifting. Each week I like to head out to my local thrift stores and Goodwills just to take a peek around and dig through and see what kind of treasures that I might find. So this week, let's take a peek at all of the designer finds I found at the thrift store. The first areas that I always like to check out are the section of baskets, picture frames, and home decor. Many times in the home decor section, there will be candle holders or frames or metal types of wares that you can simply add a quick coat of paint to and then begin to utilize. Or if you're really lucky, like I was this week, a few things that you can just clean up and decorate with immediately. And don't overlook the section behind the jewelry counter. This is where they keep their antique, much older and higher priced items. You can find some great deals there. So this week, I was able to find these two great marble candlesticks. They really reminded me of the Monty Marble Candlesticks from Pottery Barn that for a six inch candlestick is $139. My candlestick is only four inches tall, but I did only pay $1.99 each for them, which I thought was great. These could be very versatile with these small candles. You could also use these for small vases and put a couple of stems in them, or you could use them for a match holder. I think they're just really versatile and they offer another texture in your environment. Faces are also another great area to check. And don't overlook them just because you don't like the flowers. You can simply pull those out and you're good to go. This drip vase sells on Etsy for $45.99. We paid $7.99. And don't rule out those pieces that you've been eyeing. I found this McGee & Co. charcoal vase and it regularly sells on her website for $128. This was such a find at $14.99 and was a clean and go. As I stated, I'm always looking for new frames to put my artwork in. I really liked this particular frame, so as I always do, I brought it home, disassembled it, cleaned it up, but with this particular frame, I was really thrilled to find, which isn't always the case, that the mat is separate from the print. So I got a double bang for my buck there. I'll be able to save that matting for a future date. Art easels are another piece of home decor that have such versatility. I grabbed this one at Goodwill because it reminded me so much of some of the very vintage ones we've been seeing. One very similar on Amazon is $39.99. I plan to use this to display artwork, but you could also use this to display a cookbook or as a decorative plate stand, or even to prop up your tablet if you wanted to while you were cooking. This next easel I was so excited about. I've been eyeing one on Pottery Barn and other places, but it was $129. So when I found this one at Goodwill, I grabbed it up, took it home, and gave it a quick coat of Rust-Oleum black semi-gloss paint, and it was ready to go. I was really excited to style with it. Uh -huh. 
last item is by far my favorite thrift find so far. My husband and I have a very special restaurant called Cooper Hawk Winery. This is one of our favorite places, and each time we go, people always are enamored with the wine decanters there. I too am enamored with them, but for $219, not so much. Imagine how thrilled I was to find this at Goodwill half off of the blue sticker for $24.99. So definitely thrift store items for the win for a total savings of $635. I hope this helps you all realize that just because you thrift, your home doesn't have to look dated or out of the trend, that you can have a beautiful curated home on a budget. So remember, stay on the journey as we continue together making our way home. Until next time, thanks for watching.